The Untamed by Anna Escalante is a psychosexual alien horror movie that brilliantly uses metaphor and allegory to explore the dual nature of ultimate sexual fulfillment. How it can temporarily make us feel like everything is okay, and then how it can tear our world apart immediately afterwards. The film begins with an asteroid slamming into the Earth, bringing with it an alien creature that has the curious ability to provide humans with complete and total sexual satisfaction. This stands in contrast to the sex lives of the characters living in the Pueblo. Ale struggles to get sexual satisfaction from her husband and is forced to repress her sexual desires as the demands of being a wife and a mother of two take priority. Meanwhile, Angel is a closeted gay man who hides his desire for Ale's brother Fabian by acting macho and homophobic in public while desperately pursuing Fabian when no one else is watching. These three are brought together by Vero, a woman who is in an intense sexual, possibly romantic relationship with the alien. She describes the relationship as being like an addiction that won't let me be free. And indeed, like many addictions, the initial high is routinely followed by violence, danger, and extreme physical harm, which she suffers at the hands or tentacles of the alien. Despite all of which, she keeps going back, desperate for the orgasmic satisfaction it gives her. These events are watched over by the scientists who guard and observe the alien's behaviour. They aptly describe it as representing the most primitive side of who we are. All the while, the metaphor of the alien brilliantly illuminates how, in conservative suburban society where sexual desire and fulfilment is often repressed, we have managed to turn sex into something hidden, dark, and ultimately alien. Something that could threaten to tear our lives apart if brought out into the open. This horror allegory is ever present, with the camera gliding ominously through the small Mexican town, almost like a POV of the alien itself. It's also easy to read the alien as a metaphor for a toxic relationship, in which one partner takes everything, while the other delusionally keeps coming back, desperate to be fulfilled, trapped in the belief that, as Vero says, it can only give pleasure, it never hurt anyone. But anyone who has been addicted to any substance, or felt any unhealthy, romantic or sexual connection with someone, will know how such addictions can rip us apart as we view the thing we are addicted to as a paragon of perfection. Following her relationship with the alien, Vero struggles to be satisfied with the sex that she has in the human world. She seems to be a metaphor for the lightness one feels after a satisfying sexual encounter. Nothing else seems to matter. It dulls the pain as well as the pleasure that is felt in the rest of life. The tragic and beautiful irony being that the same thing which gives us immense pleasure and satisfaction, and that makes everything seem okay, is the very thing that can hurt us, sometimes mortally. <laughs>